The length of a steel pipe is a continuous random variable x with the probability density function f of x equals to k into x squared minus s cubed. x is in the range of being greater than 0 or equal to 0 and x is less or less or equal to 1. f of x equals to 0 elsewhere. Determine the common 1 value of the constant k, common 2 the mean and then Roman 3 probability that x is greater or equal to 0 0.1 and x is less or equal to 0 0.7 okay <coughs> so we have uh, this is a probability density function uh, f f of x equal to k into x squared minus x cubed the range x in that range or equal to zero elsewhere Now for us to, to calculate the value of the constant k, uh, we know that for a, for a function to be a probability density function, um, for, for a function to be A probability density function one the integral of f of x dx must be equal to one for for a continuous for a continuous variable for a continuous variable. Now the function that, that, that we have been given is a continuous variable. So we are going to use this this uh, uh, we shall use this integral of f of x dx equals to to one. Okay. So um, solution this is Roman one. So when we take the integral of k into x squared minus x cubed dx must give us 1. This is a property of a PDF. And remember, we are integrating this in the given range 0 to 1 k is a constant we take it out so this will be equal to k the integral of that x squared minus x cubed dx equals to 1 so when we integrate this we have k into when we integrate x squared we have x cubed all over 3 <coughs> Minus when in the great x cubed, we have x raised to 4 all over 4. This equals to 1. Then we end up grading from 0 to 1. This equals 2. We now insert in the, the limits. So it will be k into, we start with the upper limit. So it will be 1, 1 cubed all over 3 minus this one, it will be 1 raised to 4 all over 4. Then minus, we substitute the lower boundary or lower limits. So it will be 0 cubed all over 3 minus 0 raised to 4 all over 4. 
equals to, to 1. So this equals to k into 1 all over 3 minus 1 all over 4. This will be 0 equals to 1. Equals to 1. We get the LCM. The LCM is 12. 3 into 12, 4 times 1, we have 4. Minus 4 into 12, 3 times 1, we have 3. Therefore, we have k times 1 all over 12 equals to 1. So k all over 12 equals to 1. Therefore, k equals to, to 12. k equals to, to 12. Command 2. They want us to calculate the mean. mean equals to the integral of from 0 to 1 x f of x dx so it's equals to the integral x our f of x is a uh, is k k into x squared minus x cubed in the given range but we have the value of k so we take it out so this will be equal to to 12 from integrating from 0 to 1 then x times x squared we have x x cubed minus x cubed minus x x raised to 4 dx so when you integrate this, we have 12 into, this one will be x raised to 4, all over 4, minus x raised to 5, all over 5. We are integrating in that range. Mm -hmm. So we substitute with the limits, this will be equal to 12 into, mm, 12 into, 1 it will be 1 all over 4 minus 1 raised to 5 it will be 1 all over 5 then minus when you substitute the lower limit it will be 0 like that so this equals to uh, the LCM here it will be 20 4 into 25 times 1 5 minus 5 into 24 4 times 1 is 4 so this equals to 12 times 1 all over 20, which equals to 12 all over 20. 2 here 6, 2 here 10, 2 here 3, 2 here 5. Therefore, mean equals to 3 all over 5. So that is the mean. Uh -huh. So from my 3, Roman three um, they want us to find the probability probability that x is greater than or equal to zero point one and is less or equal to zero point point seven. So this would be equal to the integral from 0 to 1 f of x dx you know it, it will now be in this range it will be 0 0.1 to 0 0.7 so this equals to The integral 0 0.1, 0 0.7, our f of x is k into x squared minus x cubed 
then dx this equals to 0 0.1 0 0.7 k is 12 into x squared minus x cubed dx we take out 12 because it's a constant this will be equal to 12 then we integrate this it will be x cubed all over 3 minus x raised to 4 all over 4 we are integrating this range 0 0.7 0 0.7 so therefore this equals to 12 into 0 0.7 cubed all over 3 minus 0 0.7 raised to 4 all over 4 minus 0 0.1 all over 3 this is cubed minus 0 0.1 one raised to four all over four like that. So this equals to twelve into zero point seven raised to three all over three minus zero point seven raised to four all over four minus zero point one raised to three all over three. This will now plus zero point one raised to four all over four over 4. So this equals to 12 into 12. So we can find the values of this. We uh, can use our, our calculator here. So we have point, point 0.7 Point 0.7 raised to point 0.7 raised to raised to 3 this equals to 0 0.343 minus so it's this divide by sorry divide by divide by 3 so it will be 0 0.114 then minus we have <coughs> point, point 0.7 point 0.7 raised to 4 equal to that divide by 4 minus 0 0.06 then minus minus the next one is 0 0.1 raised to 3 raised to 3 equals that divide by 3 0 0.000 then plus plus 0 0.1 raised to 4 <coughs> divided by 4 plus 0 0.000 therefore when we add we will add all of them can write it up in there so when we add plus plus point one one four minus point zero six equals to zero point zero five four zero two five then you multiply by it is 12 so it's 12 times 0 0.054025 is equals to times 12 0 
four, eight, three. So the probability that uh, x is greater or equal to 0 0.1 or x is less or equal to 0 0.7 is 0 0.6483. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.